Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. And today I will be showing you how to make spleef inside of Roblox. Now for this video, I am going to make the size of these to 4 comma 0.5 comma 4. And these are my little spleef parts. And now I'm gonna make a little square of all these spleef parts. And I'll skip to when I'm done with that. Alright, so that now that I have my little spleef layout, first thing we are going to want to do with this spleef layout is group it as a folder by doing Control plus Alt plus G, or you can select them all, right click and press group as folder. And now we are going to want to name this folder spleef parts. And make sure you only have your spleef parts inside of this folder. And now we are going to add in a script into server script service. And we are going to do... And we're going to create a function by doing local function. Um, we can call it... Uh, spleef touched. So now we are going to want to get the spleef parts by doing local spleef parts equals game dot workspace dot spleef parts colon get children. Now this will get all of the spleef parts. So we want to loop through the spleef parts and detect whenever any of them are touched. So for i comma spleef part without an s in pairs spleef part now this will cycle through all the spleef parts. Now we want to detect when the spleef part is touched. So we're going to do spleef part dot touched colon connect function. Then we are going to want to fire the spleef touched function by doing that. And And now, we are going to want to know what spleef part it is. So we're just going to put spleef part right here and spleef part right here. So we only want to run this function if it's a player that's touching it. So we want to get the hit. And then local humanoid equals hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid. And now if there is a humanoid, so we're going to do if humanoid, then we are going to want to run this function. In that function, we are going to want to slowly make the part transparent. So we are going to do local tween service equals game colon get colon get service tween service. And we are going to want to create a new tween. So tween service colon create. And we are going to want to tween the spleef part. And we're going to want to create a new tween info. And the first variable is going to be how long it's going to take. So we can do 0.5 seconds. And the second variable is the easing style, which we are going to do linear so that it evenly changes the transparency and then for the third variable in the creation of the tween service we are going to want to put transparency equals zero now this will change the transparency of the spleef part to zero and we are going to want to play this tween so we're going to add colon play to the end and then we want to wait the 0.5 or we're going to want to wait 0.5 so that we can make the part can collide to false once the tween's done. So spleef part dot can collide 
equals false. All right, and then the last thing we are going to want to do is change the transparency to one, not zero. And now if we test this out, if we go over to these parts and jump on them, their transparency will slowly fade away. And now there is no way of them coming back, which we are going to want that to happen. So let's add in a new function local function regenerate spleef part and we are going to want to know what spleef part it is and we're going to want to fire that after let's go with five seconds so let's fire regenerate spleef part And then inside of this, we are going to pretty much reset the spleef part. So let's copy this code right here. And then we're going to want to set can collide to true. And we're going to want to fade the transparency to zero. So now if we test this one last time, if we walk up onto our spleef area and walk across these parts and wait a little, they should regenerate. And as you can see, they're regenerating after a certain amount of time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.